Hi everyone and welcome to the energy update from April 11th through to 17th 2022. My name is Heike Bartels, I am an energy intuitive and I would like to share some information with you about the following week. So we've got again two topics. The first one is irritation and stare up. So this is a very strong energy which can bring radical changes actually. But it's only because of something that's not in balance in situations, in relationships and it will come to light. So it's actually about embracing the shadow to transform it into light. So it is actually a gift, it's not a punishment. So if you feel irritated or uneasy, well, uneasy is too soft of a word actually. If you feel really tense about something, then this is really something that needs to be addressed. So um, you might feel that your buttons are challenged or pushed and it's only to show you where change is needed. So you might feel inspired, or this is the idea, that you feel inspired to change, for example, your, your perspective, to release judgment and embrace the chaos of life. So actually to be strong enough to be yourself. and also to create greater harmony in your life. Maybe it's also, or it could also be a call to balance the masculine and energy and feminine energies in the collective, because we know that's a collective task of this um, era that we're in actually, because we still have a heavenly, heavily masculine society and that's not necessarily a bad or, or masculine energy is not a bad thing but of course we need balance everywhere and qualities like intuition wisdom and devotion have actually been not mm, what's the word <laughs> they have not been seen enough or honored enough until now actually because we intuition is a gift and we know that and it's a gift that takes us very far but western society does not honor it very much eastern society or the indigenous people see it very much differently so that's actually what um what i mean by that the other topic is greater harmony and balance and that's together with or in connection with the full moon in Libra because harmony, balance and diplomacy are qualities of Libra. Libra wants to create harmony everywhere and that also means peace. So hopefully there is a chance for peace and also for more equity, for more fairness. Um, we know there's a lot of court, um, a lot of complaints, court cases going on in the world. So that could also be something that's coming up with this or under this energy. So maybe you feel that tension has been building up through in, in a certain part of your life. And that's actually only to show us where we need to release something. It's like this saying in English, something's gonna give. So when there is so much tension, there can only be so much tension. And then it's necessary to find a release somewhere, somehow. And that's actually um, what, is, what is happening now. So tension, um, 
is, is often the result of things being out of balance for quite a long time. And also this tension can be felt or show, showed in our, or reflected better to say, in our physical body. So it's all about using these harmonic energies to bring back the flow into your life. And because tension is also something like being stuck at a certain point. So it doesn't go forward. So we need actually this release so the energy can flow again. And that's what we need in our lives or may need in a certain part of our life. So it's all about standing in your power, knowing who you are authentically and in peace and to go from there because that's your point of power, that's your strength. And from there, you can resolve anything, you can create anything, and obviously, more than anything, inner peace, which leads to outer peace and resolves any conflict. And that might also be showing in the broader scale. Okay, the message, message from the masters, sorry about the hiccups at the moment. Um, they said peace and inner balance are what's needed now more than ever because um, we've had a quite intense week behind us. So we really need this also because April is a very intense, well, intense, intense, everything's intense here, but the most intense month so far in this year. So that's what they wanted to say. So there are some things to think about for you and maybe you want to write it down. How can you create spaces of peace in your day? So you have like a time for yourself, a little time where you can just breathe, where you can just uh, be and um, there is nothing that you need to do or address or whatever. So just how can you create spaces of peace for yourself during the day? And the other thing is, how, what do you need to cultivate your inner strength? Because we really need strength. And I just remember that this is also what uh, Lee Harris said, that um, strength is one of the main topics for this year. So it's really about your inner strength. That's your place of power. That's your place of authenticity. So what do you need to cultivate that, to look after this inner strength, to hold this space for yourself? And maybe you already know that. Um, there is from Mel Robbins, there is this great morning ritual which is called which she calls I think high five ritual but if you just look it up high five Mel Robbins you'll find it I actually started doing it in the mornings and I find it great and um, actually I do not only do it in the mornings I only do it during the day when I come past a mirror and I'm by myself I'm just doing something like that so Maybe you want to have a look at that and try it out for yourself and well, maybe you would like to tell us in the comments how you feel about it. I would be delighted. Okay, so this was thank God or thank the to the universe a little shorter as I would like every energy update to be. I hope it was helpful and of course, Thank you so much for being here, for giving your time and your energy, for being part of this community and also helping me grow it by subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Lots and lots of love.